Hello everyone, I'm Paul on McGuire Grimes. Idris Elba may slide into cowboy boots with ease, but his new film, Concrete Cowboy, isn't your traditional western. It's now streaming on Netflix, and I want to talk about it. This is Paul's trip to the movies. You may know Caleb McLaughlin best as Lucas in Stranger Things. In Concrete Cowboy, he plays a troubled high school student named Cole, who has been expelled from his school for the last time. His mother sends him off to live with his dad, Harp, played by Idris Elba. Harp doesn't have the best living environment. There's no food in his fridge, his apartment is messy, and there's a horse living in his tiny apartment. It's a really rude awakening for Cole, as his new life in Philadelphia is a far cry from his days in Detroit. His dad's close friends and fellow cowboys shape Cole into a mature young man by showing him how to have care for someone and something outside of himself. The film also stars Lorraine Toussaint, Method Man, and Jarrell Jerome as Cole's cousin Smush. Concrete Cowboy is from writer-director Ricky Staub, who co-wrote the screenplay with Dan Walzer. It's adapted from the novel Ghetto Cowboy by Greg Nary. It acts as part father-son reunion and coming-of-age story. Now, oftentimes those come within the walls of a high school, but here Cole starts to come into his own and grows up thanks to the work involved in the horse stable and the lessons heard around this tight-knit group of cowboys who have kept this community going for decades. This life gives Cole a sense of responsibility, community, and passion all the while knowing that it could be taken away by the city, who sees the stable as a nuisance thanks to its smell and the noise. We see this push and pull for Cole between the foundation that he's building with the cowboys and the street life that he's introduced to with Smush. Now the dichotomy of these two worlds is wide, and yet each has their appeal. Concrete Cowboy is full of life lessons, as words of advice are freely given to Cole. Like, home isn't a place, it's family, and you don't have to get out to grow up. There are no easy handouts, as Harp is the kind of, the kind of tough love dad. You work, and you earn what you get. But Cole doesn't always understand these tactics. It's a real treat to see Caleb McLaughlin growing up as a fine young actor. We get a glimpse of what his post-Stranger Things career is going to look like, as he finds these deep vulnerabilities uh, within Cole and lets a softer personal side shine through. Jarrell Jerome made a name for himself in Moonlight and won an Emmy for his work in When They See Us. Now, I wish we would have gotten more of his character smush. It's a really hard angle to play as he's really only written as the drug-dealing bad influence on Cole. We find out why he's dealing, but it comes a little too late in the film to empathize or give Jarrell Jerome more dimension to play with in his performance. Concrete Cowboy feels like a fresh new story that I haven't seen in recent years. There's an added layer of authenticity with real members of the Fletcher Street Riders as part of the cast working alongside Idris Elba, Kayla McLaughlin, and Lorraine Toussaint. Now we also saw this technique used in the Oscar-nominated film Nomadland. I'm giving Concrete Cowboy three and a half out of five ticket stops. If you like my review today, click subscribe on my YouTube channel. I got some other movie reviews, as well as my appearances on Twin Cities Live. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, at Paul's Movie Trip. And then go to my website, paulstriptothemovies.com, for even more reviews. Thank you so much for watching my review of Concrete Cowboy. This is Paul's Trip to the Movies.